This video here is for Surface users. It doesn't matter if you're new to the Surface Pro in OneNote or you're a long time note taker. Over the last several years, I've strived to find the weight and the settings to become the best note taker with the Surface device. And today guys, I'm gonna show you my tips, my hacks, the different accessories that I use that gives me the best note taking experience here on the Surface Pro device. So stay with me. So as I said, the objective of this video today is talking about getting the best writing performance using the Surface Pro and OneNote. And today I'm going to show you guys how I have achieved that by talking about the different accessories that I use, the way I optimize OneNote, the application, and some of the benefits and features with the Windows device and the Surface Pro to give you the best productivity taking notes within OneNote. So let's dive in and take a look at some of the accessories that we have here that are gonna make your experience that much better. So as many of you guys experience, when you pull out that surface for the very first time and you start to write on that glass with that stylus, there's this, ugh, who wants to write plastic on glass and it just doesn't have a feeling that's really gonna give you a good experience. Well, I have found if you get yourself a paper-like screen cover with a matte finish, what it does is a couple things that are gonna really enhance and level up your writing experience. One, that matte finish screen cover is gonna pull back on the glare and lighting that is hitting your device, which is, that alone is going to make the writing experience that much better over long periods of time. The second thing I found that's probably even a bigger tip when it comes to accessories is when it comes to the actual accessory pen, the stylus itself, I use a slim pen, which is best optimized for the Surface Pro, but I put a third party tip. And I'm gonna show you guys in the description what that tip is, but it is a metal tip. And I found that using this metal tip with this screen cover, I really have a fountain-like experience when I'm writing on this device. It really gives me a precise writing experience with this metal tip. Matter of fact, this accessory and all the accessories we're talking about today are gonna to be showcased in the description, so make sure you check this out. As you're going through this video, do me a favor. If you learn just one thing, go ahead and like this video. If you like this content and wanna learn more about reviews on videos and tech and how to improve your productivity, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And if you got any questions, take a moment, comment in the sections below. Somebody in the community or myself will happily reach out to you so you can further your journey in e-inking with the Surface Pro tablet or any Surface Pro tablet device that you may cross in the near future. So let's talk about how we can optimize OneNote so you can get to the next level in your note-taking experience. To achieve moving your page list from the right to the left, you're gonna start by going to File, going to Options, going to Display, and underneath Horizontal Tab Layout Options, put a checkbox where it says Move Page List to Left. Now, this might be grayed out. In the event that is, that's because you have vertical tabs enabled. We'll hit OK, and you can see that does now move. Now, a lot of you guys wanna have an experience that is very similar to your mobile experience. If you're working on an iPad or a Samsung tablet, or even working in web view, there's a new experience that allows you to use vertical tabs. If we click on view and click on tab layout, and then choose vertical tabs, this is gonna move the tabs that are across the top horizontally and move them into a vertical position. By clicking on this hamburger-like icon, I can take those extra column away, giving me a closer to a full screen experience, but yet giving me the full interface and UI of OneNote so I can easily access all the different features that OneNote has to offer. And at any time, I can go ahead and click on the hamburger-like icon and it'll re-show all the different notebooks, tabs, and sections that I have available. So I have found if I use this vertical tab experience, I find myself going into full screen less often. With that being said, I've also started to use more tools in a ribbon bar that give me additional customization and access. And I have those tools up here. It's a to-do task, my favorite pens, the ability to open up a new window, which is really cool because I can take this window, dock it over here, and have a second OneNote application over here. And that allows me to access like my weekly view page and my daily planning page side by side and take notations. So with having that ribbon also available to me, 
I have the ability to email a page as well as the ability to zoom to 100% at any given time. So say if I'm zoomed in, I can easily tap this button and it'll get back to 100%. There's a lot of different options for these ribbons. You can go ahead and click on here and choose more commands. And from here, you have the ability to see all the popular commands. You can choose all commands or you can choose the commands that are under each tab. By choosing all commands, you're gonna see a complete list of every single command that is inside the navigational toolbars of the UI. And at any time you can click on one and then you can click add and bring it over to your quick access toolbar. And you can easily click on one of these and hit remove. And then when you hit okay, it'll take it away from the ribbon toolbar. I find with this setup, I have the best experience inside of OneNote. I can easily navigate throughout my notebook, my planner, or any of the notes that I've taken, and I can commonly reach the different commands that I want to very easily. We're gonna talk about some of the customization of Windows and how I can use the UI and the operating system with the Surface Pro to gain some extra productivity. One of the first productivity hacks I find is being able to use the snap to display as a means of doing side by side. I'm gonna go in my command and I'm gonna choose an additional window. Right now, if I click and hold, you're gonna see that I have more than one window open with OneNote. Now I can also pull up my email here and open that up as well. And when I have my email open and I have my planner open, there's a lot of times that I'm going through my email, I wanna be able to take notes out of my email and pull them into my notes in my planner. And I can do that by clicking here, dragging over to the side and it'll snap to the side of the screen. And then I can choose an additional window that I have open. In this case, I'm gonna choose one of the OneNote applications and I'm gonna go ahead and hit full screen. And now what I can do, I can go ahead and peruse through my email and take notes from the different tasks and assignments that I'm catching in my email box into my actual planning system. I use this side-by-side -side feature with a number of apps beyond my email. I use it with Kindle, I use it when I browse the web, and I use it with a slew of other applications. With Kindle, if I'm reading a book and I'm learning something, I can take notes as I am reading that book and I'm able to easily recall that information later when I want to go back and digest the information that I learned. I also use it when I'm browsing the web. Maybe there's different products that I'm looking to purchase and I wanna have some comparison notes. It's a great way to do that with this side-by-side -side experience. We talked earlier in the video about full screen and how you might utilize that to give yourself a distraction-free environment. Well, we're using hyperlinks, you are able to increase your efficiency and productivity by being able to navigate in your notebook without having to go into the different sections and pages. You can do that though, however, by expanding this option and being able to see all your notebooks, pages, and sections. However, if you simply go into our planning system and click on a particular date, it'll take you to that date. This allows you to easily navigate throughout the month and throughout the planning system so that you can be able to take notes and continue that distraction-free experience without having to go into other areas of the UI. The last tip I wanna show you is gonna seem so simple for so many of you, but for those that are not using it, it is going to be game-changing. You can go ahead and use the lasso tool under draw here and choose lasso. And from here, I can take my to-dos or anything I have written or typed in my planner and simply copy them by putting the lasso tool around them and choosing copy. From here, I can jump into another page of my planner, tap in an area where I wanna paste those notations, and they show back up on the page. What this really allows me to do is to have a rollover experience. So if you have to-dos and different items that you weren't able to complete from one day, you can easily carry those over to the next day. I still find that it's very important to look at this list and prioritize the things in this list so you can make sure the things that are most important rise to the top of your experience. Guys, this is a list of different tools, different customizations and hacks that are going to improve your writing experience using the Surface Pro and using OneNote. Many of these items will work across any Windows device that is not limited to just the Surface Pro, but for those that are Pro users, I hope this video is beneficial for you. And if it was, please do me a favor and hit the like button, share it with someone else that has a similar device or is a note-taking colleague. And if you want to learn more about tech reviews and different products that benefit you in the note-taking and journaling world, 
please subscribe to our channel. We cover everything from productivity hacks to reviews on different tech that's coming out and different life experiences that are going to help you achieve personal and professional results. I'm Brandon Bonderfer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. And if you have any questions for me, please hit the comments and myself or someone in our community will gladly reach back out to you. But until then, guys, Lord willing, we'll get to see each other again. Until then, God bless each and every one of you.